What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft UHC with Shorty Duop. And today we are over at the little mine place um, where I was wanting to do my mine, like that Mines of Moria type place. Um, I've kind of cleared a little bit of pathway out. I'm going to do some more forming and stuff so this has like a, a better entrance. I'm going to take this dirt out, I think, over here. Um, but right now, that's kind of not what I'm doing. I just kind of want to get in here um, to start strip mining and really get my resources up. Um, I didn't necessarily want to strip mine. I just wanted to mine normally and find my diamonds and stuff. But I also want to get geared out and get diamond armor, get it enchanted. And that's a good way to get a lot of diamonds um, so I can... Uh, get the XP from it and just have the diamonds for my armor and stuff like that. And I, uh, it's a good XP grind and I really need to get some enchants going on. Um, I know it's going to eat up some picks, but I should be finding diamonds at a higher rate than I'm using, uh, diamond picks. Um, underneath here, when I was clearing this place out, um, it, we're still having snapshot issues. Um, so we're still seeing through the world. Um, and I saw through the world right here, I cleaned out uh, a little bit over here, see? And then when you step near it, you can see through. Um, and there's a lot of mine shafts and, uh, and uh, just caves and stuff underneath here. Because I'm seeing myself uh, just going in here just a little ways and then turning to the left, I think. And then cutting and going down. So, might as well, it's better... I guess now than any other time is to get in here and start going since it's dark. Um, but I just want to get in here and really start uh, getting diamonds and stuff. So start getting something together. See, I mean, and sometimes it stays there and sometimes it disappears. Usually when you walk into it, it disappears. But when I was mining earlier, like I was just standing in it and nothing was disappearing. Um, so I got kind of a, a little bit of a look down there and there's a lot of caves, lots of lava and stuff. Um, but I kind of wanted to start this too, just because this is kind of going to be my mine area. So I kind of want to run it back into here. I, of course, this is all going to be enlarged and it's going to be textured and stuff. I'm going to have like cracked stone. Is in the snapshot you can actually make cracked, uh, cracked stone rather. Um, you can just uh, put it in the furnace. You put stone, I believe, in the furnace and just cook it, and uh, it'll get you cracked stone. Um, so I want that in there. I want cobble. I want to put some mossy in there. Put some vines growing inside. So it's kind of like a deep, like dark looking mine shaft. Maybe some dark wood and stuff in there uh, to make it look like it's uh, like bracers or something. But yeah, like, it was, uh, when I was standing outside, it did that. But it it looked like a chunk air, almost. It looked like a chunk air, and then it, uh, you could see all the way down to the bedrock, pretty much. So last episode, we kind of, I didn't do any more with the, um, farm and stuff over there. I didn't get any more, uh, animals in here, because I really... For some reason, I really wanted to start mining and start getting in here and um, and doing something. So, I kind of want to see. This is at 180, 181. I'm kind of, I'm trying to gauge where I'm at um, by outside by being outside like on this hill because I don't want to pop out. So 181 is like right here. So we still could go over a little bit. This goes over to 195. I could go around maybe 187 we could go over just a little bit further. Yeah, so maybe we'll go over to the side a little bit more. 
but I really want to get down there because I really want to start enchanting. I need to, I may run back out to the villagers. I also, I need to find a horse and any horse will probably be better than no horse as far as getting to that village and getting back because it's taking a long time to run there. Um, cause it's a thousand, about a thousand blocks or better. What did I say one night? It was 195 to the edge. Let's just go right here. That's probably a good spot. Um, it takes a long time to get out there to that village, and that's the only one that I've found within a thousand block radius. So it's kind of, I mean, it's a long run. And that other, uh, the mining episode that I put out, um, that's not very far from the village. So just getting out there is kind of a struggle. So I might go try to find a horse this episode because we have those um, saddles and stuff that I had got from the nether and all that armor and stuff. So I may try to tame a few horses and bring them back. Um, I think I want to start. I want to dive down, I think, like right here. But yeah, I really want to get some horses and stuff to make that a little that trip a little bit easier. Because right now it's kind of nightmarish having to run over there. Oops. To trying to um, run over there just to, you know, try to rank up the villagers, the librarians in particular. Um, so, and that's the other reason why I'm kind to, because I have those blacksmiths over there, or weaponsmiths or whatever. Um pretty sure they're just blacksmiths but the the one guy has like the enchanted uh iron shovel and another one has like a pick or something but sorry i keep forgetting to torture place i know it's probably dark on screen a little bit um but i want to uh strip mine kind of or branch mine also because it's going to give me a lot of coal that i'll be able to take over there and rank them up and uh see look at that so I want to get that over there, um, or get in here rather, and uh, get a bunch of coal and stuff, and hopefully find a bunch of diamonds. Usually branch mining is the best route to take for getting a lot of gold and a lot of diamonds and stuff real quick. So definitely want to get down here and do that. And then also, once we... Uh, if I can get in here and maybe find, um, I'm not sure right off the bat, or right off the top of my head, rather, if um, if carrots are maybe a spawnable item inside uh, mine shafts, like in the uh, in the chests. So I'm kind of curious if um, I can find something. I know I found uh, watermelon before, but I don't know if carrots show up at all. But I need to find some carrots and stuff. And, um, I haven't started my little farm yet to, uh, get our wheat going. Um, but I'd really like to get some potatoes and, um, some carrots going. I think the biggest reason, obviously, is because I want to, um, God, we're having troubles here. Um, because I want to go back over to that water temple and just kind of, Maybe make an XP farm or something. I don't know. Um, and just get over there and check the place out in full light. So. I think I'm going to take this probably. I don't know if I should do offshoots like in different levels. Because we're still at. Wow we're still at 67. Yeah because we were up on a hill anyways. So it's going to be a little bit before we get down to the bottom here. But I kind of want to do levels, I think. So I want to go like where gold range starts. I mean, like it starts at, I think, like 29 or something like that. I kind of want to start, do like an offshoot. Okay, so like say this is like level 29. I want to make like an, you know, like a just an area where I can go in and mine that level out and mine out like 15 levels and then have a couple block space or a one block space and then create another one 
Um, so I've got to work that out as far as um, kind of capitalizing on what I'm going to find, essentially. Because um, I don't want to leave like this level, like top level, this level, this level, this level, and then go in here at this level because you're missing the in-between layers. So if I start one, if I start one here and then go down to down to here and I uh, don't mine any of this section because that's the in-between levels, I'm missing all the stuff that's in between here because it, I can't see it and that's the thing that works about, uh, that works well with branch mining is you can see every level so I don't know I've just got to get in here and just start digging I'm definitely gonna go I think I'm gonna start at just bedrock level I'm just gonna go all the way down see where we're at hopefully that doesn't happen too much because it looks like we're headed for a mine shaft right now so I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably just going to cut here. I'm going to get all the way down to bedrock level. And then I will come back in with you guys when I start to do the branch mine.
Okay guys, so we're back in the house and um, we did all right. Um, for the little bit that I did, I had to clear out some room, um, get rid of some of the diorite and stuff for uh, the redstone. Um, and I was also full and uh, with those three pieces of gold or whatever. Um, but yeah, we found the two diamonds that were in the mine shaft and found an okay amount of iron just from the little bit that we did. Um, it just kind of sucked because there was so much lava around um, and there are so many caves that it made it kind of difficult to branch mine because anytime I would get going I would run into lava or I would run into uh, a cave system or something so it made it kind of difficult um, but I didn't spend that much time down there so um, after this episode I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna spend more time uh, going through there and trying to get more stuff um, but I want to get this stuff cooking. Um, I'm going to block up, I think, the redstone just because there's so much. Um, and try to conserve on space a little bit. But, as you can see, I used all of my diamond pick. Um, so, I had to improvise and make an iron one while I was down there. And luckily, I found um, three iron ingots also when I was in that mine shaft. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go try to find a horse now. Um, so I'm going to put this stuff in the furnaces and uh, get them cooking. And um, I'll come back with you guys once I um, get some sugar cane and stuff. Alright guys, so I have my sugar cane. I've got my saddle and I brought some armor so we can go try to find a horse. Um, I don't know if there's any plane. Okay, so there are planes right there. And there are horses right there. Okay. I thought they were further out for some reason. Huh. Okay, so that's going to be easy. Um, I thought it was way out further. Um, holy shit. Are you kidding me? They've been sitting there this entire time. It's been like nine episodes or eight episodes. And they've just been sitting there. Wow. Wow. What a gang of idiots. <laughs> that's the wolf pack you do not want right there. Um, wow, that's pretty funny. So yeah, um, I brought a lot of sugar cane out with me because I want to try to, um, you know, get these guys to like me and stuff, like break them so I can get on to them and stuff, and um, just see like which one is the strongest one. And uh, I want a lot of hearts, and I also want um, I want one that's fast and can jump pretty good. Oh, there's a ravine here, so I can't get on this guy because he'll probably launch me off into the ravine. I guess we'll try this guy. We'll just we gotta start somewhere, I guess. So, no, no, I know I'm gonna get thrown in a ravine. I know it. It's like a V, too. We're like in a weird spot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, dude, I thought that was about to launch me off. There's just horses all over in this ravine. Look at this crap. And they're still alive, so they must have enough of hearts. They must be pretty beefy. <laughs> um. Okay, so he just doesn't want picks. He's trying to kill himself to get away from me. So I guess we're not going to pick him. Well, I guess we'll try this guy and see what he's got. I guess I could take a lot of that. Uh, oh, that's not bad. I think that, what was that, two times? And he likes me. Let's see how much health this guy has. Wow, that kind of sucks. He's alright, like, speed-wise. He's not, like, the fastest thing I've ever seen, but... That health, his health is pretty low. He jumps alright, I guess. Yeah, it's not that high. I think a horse that I had before, he jumped, like, three blocks or something. It seemed like he jumped a little bit higher than this guy. This is in my other world, mind you. Uh, I might keep searching and try to find... Let's try this guy here. Um, 
yeah, I definitely want somebody that's got a lot of health because I don't want to get out and, you know, like fall off of a couple blocks or something like that and like the horse is dead on me. Because I definitely need something that's going to be fast that can jump pretty decently because um, I really need something to get to those villages and to get to all these other places um, because it is just such a F5 it. See what this dude's about. There we go. Let's see what this guy's got. Diamond armor looks pretty good on the white horses, though. Um, what the heck? He's like the same health too. He runs a little bit faster. I don't know. I'm going to keep messing with these guys out here and um, see if I can find a better one, but I'll cut back to you guys. Okay, guys, so I haven't found a better horse. I'm just going to use this guy for now. I'm going to take the three stooges and head back to my place. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.